name is Lisa Deville. I'm a enrolled member of the Manda and Hidatsa and Rikra Nation, also known as the Three Filet Tribes on Fort Berkeley Reservation, where I've lived my whole life in Mandarin, segmented on Fort Berkeley. For the past eight years, I've witnessed the rapid increase of oil and gas industrial industrialization along with the environmental impact. Every direction you look, there are gas flares that sound like a roaring jet plane that rumbles the ground like a train passing by. At night, the sky is lit up like it's still day. Our land once was lush with natural grass, grasses, wildlife, june berries, and plum trees. Our way of life has been changed because of interruption by the oil industry. Everything has been tainted by the oil industry, the land, water, especially the air that we breathe, polluted by the flaring of a gas that can be used to heat thousands of homes. Yet it's treated like a byproduct that is harmful to the environment, human health, and the economy. It is time that we stop allowing these gases to be burned or vented into the atmosphere. So why am I here to support keeping this, this rule? My reservation in Okoda needs a rule that addresses methane leaks. Currently, there are 1,500 existing wells on Fort Berthold Reservation with 1,500 ore to be extracted, with most of the wells to be extracted in Mandarin. In the Bakken region, we have about 45,000 wells. It takes about um, 3 million gallons of water to frack one mel well and about 12 million gallons for the life of the well. In August 2012, November 2013, nearly 58% of all product produced natural gas in Madrid was flared. In 2013, 11,000 people lived within a mile of flare, of flare in North Dakota. And what are we breathing? What are we breathing in if it's such a common practice in North Dakota? We don't have any idea how much is being leaked. North Dakota has no regulations requiring companies perform leak detection and repair. The EPA rule sets a minimum that would help require North Dakota oil and gas companies to capture leak and methane and fix any problems contributing to leaks. Over 2,000 wells have been modified or drilled since the rule was finalized. With more wells coming online every day, it will be important to have regulations requiring all require oil and gas companies and know that North Dakota to capture leak gas. Sorry. Future generations and the climate depend on it. Methane is the second largest contributor to human caused global warming after carbon dioxide. It was it has a global warming potential that is twenty five times greater than the carbon dioxide. It also contains volatile organic compounds such as benzene Enormous carcinogen, a long-term exposure to methane emissions, and result in health impacts, such as asthma, cancer, neurological damage, pulmonary reductions, coronary problems, endocrine disruption, and headaches. The environmental impact, which is a result of the oil gas production, will affect human health because it is damaging vegetation, livestock, and human health, and is putting our future generations in jeopardy. is visible. What goes up in there has to land somewhere. You can, you then have heavy, heavy rains and seepage and leakage. The environmental impacts that that's happening today will take effects years from now. We are concerned about the harmful health and environmental effects from the methane and other other air pollutants that are released from well sites. This is an unmeasurable cost to travel members on for birth or those on wind value our health, our lands, any environmental laws, policies on oil and gas development that must be strictly enforced is very important, or this is repairable consequences and environmental damage. We monitor and research testing and studies that show the environmental and human impact, and health impacts of exposure. In North Dakota, technology does not exist to reduce or eliminate the gas flare. Our health and our, the health of our children and Mother Earth should not be should not be continued to be sacrificed. We as Native Americans are connected to the earth because the story of our creation brings us from the earth. So that as a child, it taught that the earth is our mother, so we must protect it. It's our human right to have clean air, to breathe, clean water, drink, clean land, to grow food. So with that, um, like I said, my name is Lisa Deville. I am the Fort Berthold Protectors of Water Earth Rights President. I also am part of the National Environmental Justice Advisory Council. Um, I have an environmental science degree, Bachelor of Science. I also have a management and master's 
and a master's of business administration. Thank, Thank you. Lisa. Mm -hmm.